Right. So if you read and understood, considering the surgical pathology speaking, kindly tell me after reading the scan, what are the differential diagnoses which comes in your mind? Uh, my differential diagnosis will be parotid tumor. Yes. Uh, it could be uh, parotitis or it could yes. be uh, obstruction of the parotid duct leading to swelling or it could be because of uh, parotid uh, swelling or parotid uh, limb nodes. All right. Considering it's a uh, considering it's a lesion in the parotid region. So, what is the most common parotid benign swelling that you know of? Most common is uh, pleomorphic adenoma. Yes. Can you define the term pleomorphic? What does it mean? It means uh, a pleomorphic means uh, it has a highly variable appearance or it has a remarkable histologic uh, diversity. Okay. Can you define yes. the term dysplasia? The appearance. Uh, a dysplasia, it is a, uh, it is a disordered uh, growth of the cells. And okay, can you please tell me if you take a biopsy and if you consider it to be pleomorphic adenoma, adin how would it appear under the microscope? What would yes, you uh, see? Yes, yeah, it will have a mixture of uh, uh, cells, mixture of the ductal, ductal and epithelial cells. Uh, it will show both, and uh, yeah, actually, it will have a mixture of uh, uh, polygonal epithelial and spindle-shaped uh, myoepithelial elements yes. on a variable background of stroma, uh, yes. which is which may be mucoid, mixoid. Hyaline, hyaline or cartilaginous. Okay, How, what investigations would you ask for to confirm your diagnosis? Uh, I'll go for uh, uh, ultrasound and uh, and uh, FNAC. Yes. Is there any single best uh, test which can differentiate if the lesion is benign or malignant? Yes. Uh, you can do fine needle expression pathology. All right, okay. Can you please tell me if you expect it to be malignant, what are the clinical features which will be present? Uh, clinically, uh, uh, there will be a rapid increase in size and uh, there will be involvement of facial nerve and uh, the swelling will be attached to the overlying skin and the underlying structure. Yes, and there could be invasion and, uh, of the overlying be skin. Constitutional, yes, and there will be constitutional symptoms like weight loss and loss of appetite. Okay, good. Okay, good. And if you see the lesion under the microscope, how uh, what will be the confirming features that you'll see that uh, it's malignant? The malignant, they, they will have the invasion of the... Yes basement membrane yes with that the infiltrating on invading the surrounding structures and uh, uh, there will be uh, poorly it will be poorly differentiated Differentiate, yes and, there'll be increased mit uh, mitotic activity pleo pleomorphism yes increased uh, mitotic activity yes and there will it, the differentiation uh, will be poor and there might be an abnormal chromatin pattern and yes okay can you please tell me how would you define between the cytology and the histology of parotid gland what is cytology cytology, cytology, yeah. cytology is the study of cell life structure histology is the study of the tissues yes how would you differentiate between the two is there is there any way you can differentiate Is there any way how the sample has been taken? Yes, yes. So yes for cytology, we can do the fine, fine needle excavation cytology. Yes, and, and histology? for histology, you need a biopsy. 
And is there any way that you can rule out malignancy while you're operating on the patient? Yes, we can uh, use the frozen section biopsy. Okay. Frozen section. Can you please tell me what are the parts of parotid gland? Uh, parotid gland, it has a superficial and deep lobe. Yes. Uh, it has a, uh, it has a upper border, anterior border, and posterior border. And uh, Can you tell the surface anatomy of the by parotid gland? Where is it located? It is located in the parotid region. The upper margin is uh, the line joining two points, one point the uh, mandibular. Uh, mandibular head and uh, uh, mustard process. The anterior border, the mandible joining three points, the mandibular head, the midpoint, the po uh, posterior border of masseter, and the two centimeters below behind the angle of mandible. Posterior border joining the two points, the mustard process, and the two okay. centimeters below. Can angle. you please tell me <laughs> where the parotid duct opens and what's the it significance opens, uh, of it? It opens uh, at the Opposite the second uh, molar. What does what does the duct duct called? It called the stensis duct. Okay, right. Can you name few structures which pass through the parotid gland? Yes, from superficial to deep, we have the facial nerve and its branches, the retromandibular vein and tributaries, and the uh, external carotid artery and its branches and auricular temporal nerve and the limb nodes. Okay, considering it to be parotid tumor, malignant, what are the risk factors which are involved? What are the risk factors? Uh, one, could, one could be age, increasing All age, right. and, and uh, one could be uh, smoking. Yes, <clears throat> and? Uh, smoking and uh, Family, I think. Okay. Uh, there are two terms I want you to define for me. There, there could be a term high sensitivity test. How would you differentiate that from high specificity test? A sensitivity is a test that is used to uh, identify, correctly identify those who have the disease. That means the true positive. And uh, specificity is the ability of test to identify those who do not have the disease or without the disease, the true negatives. Good. So the last most common question everyone asks, uh, if uh, you are operating on parotid tumor and your assistant gets needle injury, what would you do? Uh, first of all, I'll ask uh, him or her to wash his hands with soap and water. Yes. Then uh, uh, report the incident to the occupational uh, department. Unit and uh, then uh, I'll ask, yes, occupational health department, yes. and uh, then I'll uh, advise the advise uh, the blood test for the patient as well as the as well as the assistant. We we'll run yes. the uh, blood for HIV, Hep B, Hep C, uh, yes. viral load, and yes. also consider for prophylaxis after consulting with the microbiologist. Yes. And uh, uh, we have we need to follow up the blood test uh, for the for the assistant. <clears throat> and while you're waiting for the results, you'll advise assistant not to assist anymore while you're waiting. Good. Can you uh, read the image in front of you, please? This mm, yellow is arrow the... is pointing at. What? Left sided uh, parotid swelling. Yes. By looking at the image, what can you uh, interfere? Or what type of lesion is it pointing at, or swelling, or tumor? Or... It looks like malignant, ma'am. Okay. Because there's How? bony erosion. Yes. Good. And. Uh... But it does not seem to have. Uh, other than local invasion, or it does considering it's too much. Yes. 
okay, is good. local invasion. Yeah. What if I say it's encapsulated, it's benign? It might be pleomorphic adenoma. Yeah, but not of the same patient. But it's benign, it's encapsulated. Right? Good. Thank the you. bony erosion is bony involvement is there, no? Uh, local? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's enclosed. So it's that's how it shows. It's It appears. But I don't think so. What others say who are watching? Maybe they can also comment. I took that from Google, and but I read it was benign. Yeah, I... Yes, please. Sorry. Yes, it is well circumscribed. Yes. Uh, regular and uh, superficial, just involved in the superficial part, not attached to the skin. No. Just look me like not, not attached to the skin, so it is the most likely benign. Yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. It's encapsulated, so it's benign. Yeah. Good. Thanks. 